like we do each and every weekday. We sit down with a member from the community, talk about an organization or an event. Very happy to welcome on quite a few individuals in the WTGR studios as uh, we have uh, Dark County Special Olympics in the spotlight for this uh, Wednesday. And uh, Cindy Rose, a familiar voice here on the program, has joined us. And, and Cindy, well, first off, good morning, but uh, also... Uh, you, you've brought some friends today. I do. I, I have friends, Alex. Did you know that? I know. You have a lot of friends, I know. actually. You don't give yourself credit. but they, I know. I know. You've been very kind in the last uh, uh, couple of years to, to bring a few individuals involved in the program. But, you know, I don't think that we've had that many times where you've brought on athletes. And that's what exactly. I, yeah, exactly. I think maybe one time. Yeah, so that, we have some exciting we got stuff three. to talk about today. Yeah. We do. we got three in the WTGR studios today. And... Uh, well, I guess introduce the group. Okay. Well, we have softball players here from our program. We have two members of our Diamond Dogs. We have Devin Billenstein. Devin, you want to say hello? Hi. We have Nick Mead. Hello. And from our Dark County Slugger school age team, we have Derek Hemmelgarn. Hi. And uh, these three uh, spent uh, last week in New Jersey. They did. Who doesn't want to go to New Jersey in the summer? <laughs> I was I was actually in New Jersey uh, this past weekend, as crazy as that sounds. That is. For vacation purposes. Um, but uh, these guys were taking care of business and in a big way. They were. And uh, bringing home uh, the top prize, which is really, really cool. They were. They were chosen to be part of the Ohio delegation to represent Ohio at the 2014 USA national games and these three were on the traditional softball team so 15 athletes were chosen from around the state of ohio and we had three chosen to represent dark county in ohio and uh, for the the three gentlemen here um let's go down the road we'll start with you devin what what position did you play last week and uh did you enjoy the experience yeah i enjoyed the experience and i played left field left field and uh how about for you nick uh by pitcher and, and everything and uh derek i played first base First base. Okay, so now um, for the week, uh, you, you guys start by by taking a jet over to New Jersey. Now that that had to be a pretty cool experience, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was awesome. And and this is this was like a, like a private jet, right? Yeah, yeah. private. Yeah. And uh, and then you you guys uh, touch down and then boom, sort of right into action. You guys played a lot of softball last week, right? Yeah, we did. And uh, is is there an experience that sort of sticks out and and talking about softball? Obviously, you guys were the champions, but uh, and, and sort of your experience and 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 everything. I know we were talking before we came on here. Uh, Nick, you had a pretty big hit last week, right? Yes, against Iowa. And uh, d- tell us about that hit. I had bases loaded because our first batter flied out. And then we got the bases loaded. Had three other people on. And then I hit it over the. Left center fielder's head, just barely enough to run around to get a home run. And that, the the grand salami. Yeah. As you touch <laughs> the ball. That's it. That's it. That, that, that is a big fly right there, and uh, that must have been an absolute thrill. Oh, yes, it was. And I'm sure not just for you, but, but for your fans and for your teammates. Yep. Everybody going crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Nick, you also sort of touched on. Uh, the gentleman sitting next to you, Derek, he had a he had a pretty special catch, right? Yes, he did. And and Derek, tell me about that catch. Um, I was saving a guy's head. So the ball was headed towards this gentleman, and you came in and were able to grab it. Yes. And uh, not only saving him, but you also got some nice kind words from the the, the fellow coach. Yes. And uh, what what did he say? I forget. <laughs> I think I think hearing from somebody else, it was almost like, "Hey, you see this guy's life." I mean, the ball was headed right at him, and you made a great uh, grab. And uh, again, we're talking with Dark County Special Olympics, the three gentlemen in the WTGR studios, national champs. As uh, last week, they were in New Jersey, a uh, part of a uh, Special Olympics, um, uh, United States USA Games. USA Alex. Games. And, and and Cindy, how many athletes were there? They estimated over 3,500 from all 50 states. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. so for you guys, I'm sure you guys met a lot of friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, met we a did lot. a lot. And uh, sort of talk about that experience. Did you get a chance to, to talk with other teams and, and more importantly, uh, people from other states? Yeah. When, every once in a while we did. When we was like, switching fields or walking around, we got to talk to other people. 
And uh, Devin, you said that uh, you you got to talk, uh, spend a lot of time with Team New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. After the end of our game, we got to talk to him a lot. And uh, you guys were also sort of you spent the whole week in New Jersey living. And uh, I mean, besides softball, you got to take in a couple other special events, and even you got a chance to check out some of the other athletes outside of softball. You went to track and field. Yeah, track and field. Yeah. And, and what was that experience like? Oh, it was pretty cool seeing that. Seeing other people do other stuff, and uh, they they held that at, at Princeton. Princeton, yeah, university. And uh, Nick, that was a pretty cool setup, and uh, that was a cool experience checking out the campus. Oh yeah, it was. They had uh, the, the football stadium and yep. a couple other facilities. Oh yeah. Now, um, Derek, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you got to go on a boat trip. Yes. And, and what was that like? It was fun. And uh, now, did, did you have a, a favorite moment from last week? I got to see the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. And was that a part of the boat trip? Yes. Oh, cool. Wow, that's awesome. Now, did, did all you guys get to go on the boat trip? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and what was that like? I mean, I'm sure that was a pretty thrilling experience. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Now, they, they have a couple of special events from the opening ceremony. Nick, you said that you didn't get to participate no. in that. Um, did did the other two get to go to the yeah. opening ceremony? Yeah, they yeah. did. Was that a pretty neat experience? It, it was yeah. awesome. And uh, th- that was almost like uh, maybe the Olympic Games ceremonies yeah. that you see on oh, yeah. TV? Yep. And it's sort of like how they set walk- up? Yep. They went by state and we walked in and sat down. Awesome. Awesome. That's so, so cool. Uh, Cindy, sort of talk, because you also got to go, right? I did go. I went on my own. I was a part of the Ohio team delegation, but I went to support my guys. And you so, weren't you weren't the only one supporting them, as uh, you had some fans. We did. We had fans from Dark County, family and friends come. It just a great experience for them to get to see their athletes, and again meet athletes and families from uh, around the state of Ohio. You know, you play these games during the regular season at the state tournament. Then you get to see your athletes competing together on the same team. It's a great experience. Now, how many games do we play total? Well, they played in in divisioning. Once they were divisioned, what did we decide? You played nine games. Nine games, games. right? Nine games. They were divisioned by their ability after the first couple of uh, the first day, day and a half, and then they played within their division and skill level. So it was. And 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 sorry to sort of butt in there, uh, Cindy, but Devin, we didn't get off to the best start, right? No, we played. We played horrible. Now, now, did, how, you lost a couple games to start, right? Yeah, very first day. And uh, but it it all changed from there. Yeah, then we started clicking. And then, uh, so I guess you got used almost the first couple of games as a practice, almost. Yep. Yeah, that's all it was, just practice. That's, that's <laughs> awesome, and it, it practice uh, makes perfect. And you guys came away the champs. And now, did you get a medal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what what was that like? Is that a pretty cool medal? Yeah, it was. It was pretty awesome. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Nick Devin, you guys got a couple years. Derek, you're a young guy, right? Yeah. And uh, you're the you were the youngest guy on your team. Yes. And uh, so now that's got to be quite an honor. You yeah. you got to be able to play some softball, I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> Derek, brag on yourself a little bit. Yes, he can. <laughs> and uh, again, we're talking with uh, three fine individuals, uh, uh, Dark County softball players. And more importantly, state of Ohio softball players is they got to make a, a special trip last week to New Jersey and uh, came away with a national championship uh, for for, correct, for, yes. for softball and uh, unbelievable. Uh, Devin Billenstein, Nick Mead, and Derek Hemmelgarn all in the WTGR studios with Cindy Rose, and we'll talk more about their experience when we return, as it's a Wednesday edition of Community Ties right here on Tiger Country. Welcome back again to Community Ties. Is uh, sitting down and talking with uh, Dark County Special Olympics. Uh, Cindy Rose has been so kind to welcome on three fine athletes, uh, national champions, as uh, Devin Billenstein, Nick Mead, and Derek Hemmelgarten are also in the WTGR studios. As uh, these gentlemen got to participate last week in a very special event, uh, the uh, national competition for Special Olympics. And, Cindy, something I learned during the break there, this happens, this doesn't happen every year. No, it's every four years they have summer games, and then every four years they have winter games for USA. This is only the third time they've had it. They started in 06. So it, it, it's quite the honor that Dark County gets it three, three uh, 
softball players in that mix. And also it's important to note that Dark County had the most uh, athletes on the team of any other county yes. in the state of Ohio. On the softball team, we, we sent three players on the 15-player roster in the team of Ohio. Now there's other sports Ohio was represented in. There right. was, I believe, 72 athletes from the state of Ohio and all 11 of the 14 sports offered. But, yes, on their softball team... There was three. Now, was the most. Th this is a team event, so obviously there's people out in the state that are sort of picking these players, and, and, and that's how Devin, Nick, and Derek got selected. Uh, but uh, from the other sports, is it one of those things where if you're a, a state champion? They, they do. I'm not exactly sure how the state of Ohio chooses, but being a state champion definitely puts you in the pool to be chosen from. Also, it, it's a week-long commitment. Um, it's, it's flying. if if athletes haven't flown and that's something they're not interested in doing, they might not choose to go. Uh, but it's 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 a good mix. There's uh, a lot of pictures online. I encourage yes. folks to uh, befriend uh, Dark County Special Olympics on Facebook. Yes. And all they got to do is just type in Dark County Special Olympics. That is correct. I looked at the pictures, uh, well, throughout, I guess, last week. And then uh, before you guys came on today, I looked through them. And it's some, some great pictures. Um, it is important to note that uh, softball players... The three of you apparently are not the great picture picture takers. <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, we're not. Well, they look good in pictures, but they don't use their own cameras. I, I you got, know, I gotta give them a lot of credit uh, because I, I'm the same way. I mean, <laughs> I've had people in the past tell me, "Oh, you visited here? Why don't you take pictures uh -huh. of this, that, and the other?" But why have a camera when you got a phone? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yes, well. <laughs> very, very true. Um, uh, as uh, we're having some fun uh, this morning, uh, uh, Devin Villenstein, Nick Mead, Derek Hemmelgarn, all national champions as uh, they got a really special medal last week in winning uh, softball and uh, part of Team Ohio. And, and Nick, you came prepared. You got the jersey on right now. Yes, I do. That's a that's a pretty slick looking jersey. Yeah. I got I got to admit. And um, now do you you guys got some other gear too, right? Yeah, we yeah. got jackets, um, shorts. Um, pullover shirts, and, and so you, you got all decked out for the uh, for the event, which yes. is, which is awesome. Cindy, I you know we were talking about the, the friendships that they they made in yes. our first segment, uh, especially with Team New Jersey. Yes. Um, but as fans, you you also met uh, some friends and and built some relationships. You do. You build. There was team team members, family, and friends that came, and you're sitting in the stands and talking you just kind of meet as you're standing around and it's interesting you don't always maybe take that opportunity when you're playing these teams during the regular season back in the state of Ohio but when you're all pulled together on the same team it's it, it's a great experience for those that are watching too and you were talking during the break about how you know looking ahead towards this year's softball yes. season um, you're gonna play a couple teams and, and and from sort of that experience you're looking forward now to playing them right, right. you know you're more than just the rival across the field. When you leave the field, you get to talk about, hey, what'd you do? Or, you know, they had their phone numbers. I, I would have to say, guys, right? Do you get some yeah. phone numbers from your teammates? Yeah, and, you know, what'd you mean in your text? And you can talk about that now. So it's it's exciting. I actually texted one of the uh, parents that we met this weekend just before I came here today. And, and I think, Devin, I think it was you who said it. You know, you, you play against some of these guys in the state yeah. tournament, yeah. and you, you, you want to win. Yeah. Um, but now you actually sort of know some of these people, and uh, you look forward to playing them now just, you know, from yeah, a friendship yeah, standpoint. Yeah, friendship. Now we get to play them for fun, and you get to know them a lot better now. That's got that, that, that's got to be something to look forward to. Yeah. Now, how many, how long have we been playing softball? I played since 07. 07? Yeah. And then, Nick, you've been at it for, for quite a few years, right? Yeah, about 18 years. And then, uh, Derek, you actually started uh, playing baseball, right? Yeah. And uh, from baseball, it led to softball. Yeah. And uh, how long you've been at You've been doing it for a good portion of your life. Yes. And uh, now, what have you always played first base? No. No? Can you tell Alex, uh, Derek is a, a one... One word answer guy. Hey, De De I can't. I don't hey, know what to De say. hey, Derek's doing just fine. <laughs> As uh, again, uh, we're talking with uh, three individuals spent uh, last week in New Jersey, uh, coming away with a national championship and, and a cool medal. Now, a part of the pictures online uh, from Facebook, I saw that there was uh, a podium 
And uh, like the Olympics, you guys got to go on the stage and take the top spot. Uh, Nick, sort of t- touch on that that experience. Oh, I was that was something else. I mean, we're up on that stage and everybody's out there cheering you on and things like that. Other people from other states are there too, watching you and cheering for you and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny because I, I asked you earlier in the show what your favorite p- part was, and you said the whole week, which was a great answer. But when I said about, when I started talking about the podium, your eyes kind of yeah. lit up. You, you really liked that part. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, uh, for uh, Devin, that, that was probably a, a thrilling sort of moment. I, you know, it's funny because you, you win an event, and that, that yeah. it's got to be contagious of like winning's great. But then to, to step on a podium, I'm, I'm sure that was sort of a feeling that you maybe never, ever experienced yeah, before. Yeah, that, that was awesome. It was nothing like I ever experienced before. And I bet that was cool. And and, and for for Derek, you, this is kind of interesting because you know you got Devin and Nick who have won at the state level, but you, you haven't won a state championship, right? Yes. So, so this was like... I mean, to get a national title before a state title, that had to have been a thrill, right? Yeah. Now, uh, for for Cindy, that, that, that's got to be a proud moment, seeing all these guys up there. It is a proud moment. that The gold medal around the neck is just a bonus in my book. Uh, again, as I, I say before about our Dark County program and they represented us, how they represent and the way they conduct themselves even makes me more proud. And it just it was a special team that they were on, those 15 members and just, it's exciting to watch them have success and celebrate that. Be there to celebrate with them. And um, you, you look forward to having more success on the softball diamond because your season's uh, getting it's, ready to go. It is right around the corner. It's a July through September season, and we'll have three teams again and out on our field behind Lane Industries. So it's it's about they'll just continue on. They've been ready and playing since June. And <laughs> yeah. We were able to get out there a little bit before they left and help them practice a bit and. So we're ready to roll. They'll now, ready. now uh, it, it's it's important to note that, that from this experience, um, dollar figures matter. Sure. And uh, donations are key. Correct. And uh, folks that, that support this program, um, it, it's it's important to continue that support because, I mean, of wonderful experiences like this. Correct. It is. And we knew going into this year that we would have an added expense. We do pay for them to attend national games. And it is a commitment with our program, you know, smaller budget, but it's important to us to support them if they have the opportunity. And we have had some extra donations come in just for that that we might not seek every year. So, and again, this community, 36 years of Dark County supporting us is, you don't see that everywhere. And I continue to tell people that. It's awesome stuff. Uh, and uh, what, what a, you know, talking with you guys uh, on air, off air, it sounds like it was just a really awesome week and something that you'll be able to hold on for a long time. Um, before I let you guys go, you want, you guys want to say hi to anybody <laughs> out there? Uh, mom and dad or, or family or no? My, my son, Daniel. All right. And my wife, Misty. There we go. And, uh, hey, guys, thanks a lot. Congratulations, okay? I got something for you, too. Oh. Oh, we got something here? Got gifts. Hey, oh, man. man. What is this? This is the pen- pens that we trade for other states that we can trade to people to have their state, too. Oh, man. This is great. I thank you so much. That's oh, wonderful. Welcome. I didn't... Uh, that, that, uh, Alex, man. I had no idea. This is what I'm talking about. This hey. is how... We represent, and this is what makes me most proud. That that means a lot, and this is a really cool looking pen. Uh, it's the state of Ohio. It's got a flame uh, across the state. It says USA Games, Ohio delegation, 2014. Hey guys, thanks a lot. You're welcome. I really really appreciate that. Uh, Devin Billenstein, Nick Mead, Derek Hemelgarden, uh, all national champions, all great athletes, and all really quality people. As uh, a lot of class. Here in the WTGR studios, Cindy. Thank you so much. As always, Alex. Thank you for having us. Uh, go online, uh, Facebook.com. You want to check out some pictures? Uh, just search uh, Dark County Special Olympics. And uh, again, big, th- big thank you and a huge congratulations uh, to Devin Billenstein, Nick Mead, Derek Hemelgarn, and uh, always fun talking to you, Cindy Rose. Thank you. Tomorrow on the show, we'll have Miami County Power Association in the spotlight. Join us just after the eleven o'clock news. This is Tiger Country.